They're lying. What can you do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what you can do about it in today's two minute top tip. You're pretty confident they're lying. Whether that's about an issue that you're raising, whether it's in the difficult conversation itself, but it feels like there is a lie or multiple lies in the mix. What could you do? Well, you might want to call them out directly, but my top tip is different to that. And it is use evidence. There'll be a reason that you think this person's lying and it will be based on evidence. And you want to use that really concrete, as concrete as possible, examples and evidence to highlight the fact that you have a difference of viewpoint or opinion about what has happened or even a difference of recollection. The thing about evidence is that if it is concrete, then it can be really hard to refute. And if they do refute it, which can happen, there'll be a reason for that and that can move the conversation forward. Because when you think someone's lying, even if you call it out directly and they deny that they are, we can get quite stuck and not move the issue forward. So bring evidence in to highlight why you think what you think is the case and not what they are saying is the case. And that should move your conversation forward. Remember, there are lots and lots of top tips here for you to help you have those difficult conversations and to make sure you get them, do subscribe. And check out the link for my free, nice and short, but very useful e-course that will show you how to structure a difficult conversation for success. It's five short videos that will land in your inbox and I'll walk you through my five-point structure. I hope it helps you.